Hi, you guys. Today I have with me problem 7.12 from Yang and Friedman's University Physics Textbook. So let's get started on that. But before I get started on that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Okay, so this problem is titled Tarzan and Jane. Tarzan in one tree cites Jane in another tree. He grabs the end of a vine with length 20 meters that makes an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical, steps off his tree limb and swings down and then up to Jane's open arms. When he arrives, his vine makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. Determine whether he gives her a tender embrace or knocks her off her limb by calculating Tarzan's speed just before he reaches Jane. Ignore the air resistance and the mass of the vine. Okay, so let's go ahead and just draw this problem out first. So the way this problem works is that we have some sort of vine, right? And we know that Tarzan grabs this vine at an angle of 45 degrees. So this is this vine that he's grabbing and I'm just... And he's on some sort of like tree stump or something or tree limb. I don't know what that looks like, so I'm not gonna draw it, but he grabs this at like 45 degrees and I'm just going to make him this like little orange guy right over here. So he grabs it and the length of this vine is 20 meters. Okay. And this is 45 degrees. Okay. So then what happens is that this vine, it goes all the way like down, right? And then it travels to an angle of 30 degrees, right? So it swings up to Jane's arms. And yeah, this angle is 30 degrees. And let's say that Jane is right over here. Just like right at this point. Okay. So this is all obviously the vine stays 20 degrees the entire time. Um, and I kind of did a bad job of drawing it. So I'm going to draw it again, like just right over here. Um, except the way that I draw it, I'm going to be a little bit more specific. Okay, actually, let's, just, let's do that after. I'm, I'm going to... We'll get back to that in a second, but first let's actually just write down all of our knowns. So our knowns are that the length of this vine is 20 meters. This theta angle one is, or actually not prime, is 45 degrees. And then we have another angle, let's say that's theta two, and that is 30 degrees. Okay. And awesome, we are looking for the speed. So what does, how are we gonna get speed? Well, conservation of energy, we're ignoring air resistance and mass of the vine. So we know that at first, and now we can go back to the drawing, that at first, when Tarzan is um, 45 degrees away from the vertical, right? uh when he's 45 degrees away from the vertical his um like his uh in that like state he's in there's two things making up um like the energy right so there's two components sorry at that point he has only okay sorry let's start again when he steps off of this tree limb he only has at that point when he's not actually like moving, right? So let's draw him when he's not actually moving, what type of energy um, like is he experiencing? Well, he only has gravitational potential energy at this point, right? So here he only has um, like U potential energy, gravitational potential energy. So U is equal to MGH. There we go, right? Then as he swings, right? 
well, he's experiencing like not just gravitational potential energy, he's also moving. So he's experiencing, just gonna write two, he's experiencing gravitational potential energy. Plus he's also experiencing kinetic energy because he's moving, right? And then when he gets back to this like 30 angle where like Jane is, right? Now, again, he is, so let's say like this is the floor, right? He's experiencing, again, some, he's experiencing some, uh, what's it called? Gravitational potential energy because he's like some height off of the floor, right? So gravitational potential energy. I'm just going to use a different color just to make it a little bit more clear. But yeah, three, gravitational potential energy, plus kinetic energy, right? Okay, so now let's, let's go back to our knowns. So we are not our knowns, but let's look back at what our unknown is. So our unknown is his speed right before he reaches Jane. So his speed right over here, right? So we know that um, because energy is conserved in this system, right? We're ignoring air resistance. So energy at one is equal to energy at three, right? And at one, the energy is just gravitational potential energy, right? So that's just going to be MGH1, right? And then over here at three, he is moving at some speed, right? So that's going to be half of mv squared gravitation. Sorry, that's kinetic energy. And then gravitational potential energy, which is mgh2. Because, you know, he's at a different height here and he's at a different height here, right? So we have mgh1 and mgh2. And what we're looking for is, is v. This is what we want. This is what we're isolating for, right? So what we can do is we can isolate for that using, um, let's just isolate for that first. So M actually cancels out, right? Because um, we can factor that out. Then we can do GH1 minus GH2 is equal to half of V squared. Then we can do two, right? So multiply both sides by two and 2g h1 minus h2 right is equal to v squared and then we can just square root both sides and the absolute value of v right is root square root of 2g h1 minus h2 right that makes sense all we did was we just solved for v right over here okay so now we get to plug in our values. Well, we know what G is, but we don't really know what H1 and H2 are, right? So what are H1 and H2? It's this height above the ground, right? So we know that this vine is 20 meters long, right? So this is 20 meters and well, like the vine stays 20 meters, right? So let's use the bottom of the vine as our like reference point, okay? So that is our reference. So we wanna know how high above the reference point we are at one, right? So here, what we can do is we can use trig, right? So we have this 20 meter vine. And we want to know what this height is. Okay. And sorry, this is also 20 meters. Uh, actually, I should draw that better. That was, that's actually confusing. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so that's 20 meters, okay? But we wanna know what is this, like what is this distance right over here? You know, this is 45, right? So we wanna find out what, yeah, this portion is right over here. So what we can do is we can do 20, right? Minus this component, which is 20 cos 45, right? And what we get when we do that is, Five point eight five eight meters. Okay, so that's like what this height is over here. That's what H one is. What about H two? Right. So H two. Let's draw that again over here. Or actually, I can just draw that here. So again, we have this you know twenty meter vine but this time it's over here. It's only 30 degrees from the vertical. And what we can do again here is what we can do here is again, the same method and look for what this value is, right? So this value over here is going to be again, 20 minus 20, but this time cos minus cos 30. So 2.68, uh, that's what I'm getting, 2.68 meters. Okay, that's H2. So now all we have to do is we have to plug in um, H1 and H2, right? And we'll get what our speed is for V. So, V is, sorry, one second, 9.8 times two. Okay, so V is 7.89 meters per second, right? And that should be what you got. Okay, so let's think about that. Determine whether he gives her a tender embrace or knocks her off her limb by calculating Tarzan's speed just before he reaches Jane. So forget knocking her off her limb. He totally just knocks her out. I think, yeah, if someone, if someone, especially Tarzan, came at you at seven meters per second, almost eight meters per second, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know if you'd survive that. Um, definitely not. Or maybe, I don't know, I, not like a, medical type person so or like a biology person sorry I should say um yeah I don't know what would happen to you but it wouldn't be good so yeah that's that's the solution all right I hope that was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or send me an email and please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you next time